The harmonica, or more commonly known as the blues harp, one of the oldest instruments of all time and probably the most influential contributors to the blues genre. Blues kings and rock and rollers alike have been using the harmonica for decades. Most people consider this instrument just a gimmick or something a lead singer uses to feel useful during an instrumental break. On the other hand, there are those who consider it to be an incredible standalone instrument with as many limitless possibilities as the piano or the guitar. In order to understand harmonica, we have to learn about the company that developed. The Horner Company, which was founded by Matthias Horner in 1957, was a musical instrument manufacturing company that specialized in accordions, guitars, and especially harmonicas. Matthias Honer hands over the company to his five sons, Jacob, Matthias, Andreas, Hans, and Goodley William, on the 19th of September in 1900. The company then employed over 1,000 people with a production output of 4 million harmonicas per annum. Since then, Honer has been the biggest and most successful manufacturer of harmonicas ranging from multiple diatonic types to celebrity signature blues harps. We visited Robbie's Music Store in Mount Olive to check out their harmonica selection, which was impressive to say the least. Robbie's has a wide range of harmonicas to purchase along with accessories. When we asked which harmonicas were the most popular, he told us the 10 hole diatonics were and that the best brands were the Honer Special 20s and the Marine Blues Band Harps. It was also the opinion of the employee that the harmonica is an instrument similar to the guitar and that it has unlimited accompaniment possibilities. We talked with David Smith II, who has been an accomplished harmonica player for over 30 years. I prefer Honer, the brand name Honer. Uh, it's a German make. It's um, considered one of the high quality instruments uh, um, uh, of, of harmonicas. Honer uh, has always put out a great instrument. And uh, over the years, I transitioned from the Marine Band harmonica, which is a wooden reed harmonica to a plastic reed, what's called a Special 20. It's a professional grade harmonica and it's much more comfortable and uh, I love the sound and, and feel of it. This is the harmonica that everyone seems to know about and is also the most widely used by blues, country, and folk artists. This simpler looking harmonica has 10 holes and a lot of potential. Despite its simple appearance, this harmonica is the most widely preferred harmonica by artists because of its mobility and powerful note bending capabilities. What, what is a note bending, you might ask? Notes is essentially when you just draw in air, but give it more power. Like this is just a normal draw, and this is bending a draw. There are plenty of diatonic harmonica brands that vary with quality such as the Blues Harp MS series, the Hot Metal Enthusiast series, and the Special 20 series, which is considered the best quality harmonica. Here are some harmonicas that are less commonly known. The word chromatic refers to a scale containing all of the 12 notes found in each octave, corresponding to both the white and black notes on the piano keyboard. The chromatic harmonica contains all of these notes, thus enabling music to be played in all 12 keys on one instrument. Actually, the chrom consists of two diatonic harmonicas joined together, turned a semitone apart, for example in C major and C sharp major. By pressing in the slide button, the player can switch from one to the other, raising the pitch of each note by one semitone. This harmonica isn't as popular as the diatonic because bending notes isn't possible with a chromatic and its larger size also doesn't help with the mobility. The tremolo harmonica's distinguishing feature is that it has two reeds per note. With one slightly sharp and the other slightly flat, unlike the chromatic, this harmonica is played with both holes at once rather than separately. There is no slide button separating the sound. No, I don't think I knew that this was a tremolo harmonica. I thought it was just, you know, a, a longer harmonica. It does sound different from the actual, you know, normal harmonica, but I didn't know it had a special name. I didn't know that there were different types. The octave harmonica is very similar to the tremolo harmonica in look. However, they sound completely different. Octave harmonicas all feature the curved banana form and use the Wiener octave tuning where upper and lower notes are tuned exactly one octave apart, resulting in a full, powerful sound without any tremolo beats. Harmonicas, like all musical instruments, come in different keys. The keys may sound high or low, depending on the letter key. Diatonic harmonicas each have a single key, which is found in the corner of the harmonica. See, and I gotta get the right C because there's two C's in here. That's not the one. That's the one. Let me put this one back. Do people really consider the harmonica a true instrument? Playing the harmonica, I, 
loved it from the start as a kid and um, have picked it up sporadically throughout my adult life. Uh, well, there you have it. That's everything you need to know about the harmonica and how much of an important instrument it is.